There's an app I've been wanting to use for years, ever since it came out. And I've never really had a computer strong enough or fast enough to run it. And I recently got an M1 Mac Mini. And so I think it's time to finally try out and install Apple's Motion. So let's go ahead over here to the App Store and I'm just going to search for Motion and you can see it's right here, it's uh, $49.99 and you know a lot of people have compared this to Adobe's After Effects and since I edit my videos in Final Cut Pro and have been for years, uh, I've always wanted to try out Motion but I just never had a fast enough uh, computer with the you know graphics cards to really run it correctly and I'm hoping from what I've seen online that uh, the M1 Mac mini will be able to run it just fine so that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it today and I'm gonna start trying to use it in some of my animation videos so anyway uh, I don't really know how to use it yet and I might try and post some videos uh, here as I'm learning things but Let's go ahead and just buy it and I'll download it. And let's go ahead and buy it. I think that it's a pretty big size, 2.4 gigabytes, so it should take me a little bit of time to download it. But um, anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out. If anybody knows of um, good tutorials online to learn motion, uh, I'm um, please leave those in the comments. You know, it's interesting with Motion, um, the ratings here, it's got 4.3 out of 5 stars, and it looks like there's some people that are kind of unhappy with it. I'm curious to see how this runs and speeds up animation workflows. I mean, that's kind of what I'm looking for with this program is to be able to, to think of an idea and quickly implement it instead of... Um, the traditional hand-drawn animation, which I'm still going to do, but my ideas are to try and take some of the hand-drawn stuff and you know do use things like replicators and you know uh, things that you can do in real time and see what they look like and and make quick adjustments to your animations. And I'm hoping that uh, Motion is going to fit that bill for me. You know, I remember when Motion first came out. I think it was priced at like two ninety-nine or three hundred dollars. And now that it's only $50, I think that's a really good deal for what this program can do. And I, you know, when I first got Final Cut Pro, it was $1,000. And now you can get it for $300. So I think that those prices are very competitive, especially that you pay it once and you own it and you can use it for years. Uh, so if anybody's looking into getting into video editing or special effects, um, you know, these are, those are two good programs to look at if you don't want to pay the monthly rental fees that Adobe and other software makers are, are using these days. So it looks like it's done down later. I'm going to go ahead and just open it real quick and let's see, let's see what motion does on a first launch. So it looks like I've got version 5.5.1. Uh, what's new in motion. Let's take a quick look at these things. I'm not going to look at the complete feature list right now, but um, optimized for Apple Silicon. So that'll, that'll help me with my, my new M1 Mac, uh, 3D objects. I'm not looking to use that too much, but it's good that it's been added to to Motion. And a stroke filter outline the edge of an object, text or clip with solid color gradient. That's kind of cool. Um, I can see uses for that. So it looks like uh, you've got this little open window here, and it kind of gives you five different ver um, project types that you can that you can start and uh, then you've got your presets over here, uh, frame rates also. So this is cool. And then uh, on the left column, we've got some some other uh, options here, compositions, final cut generators and titles and stuff. So, um, you know, for right now, I'm just going to open a regular motion project. I'll just set it to 1080p at 30 frames per second. And let's go ahead and open that. So anyway, uh, this is the interface, and from the tutorials I've seen, again, I've never used this program. Um, it looks like you know you've got this column on the left, and then this little box on the 
uh, to the right of it with layers, media, and audio. A timeline down here that looks fairly familiar to um, or similar to, to Final Cut Pro, and then you get your viewer over here on the right. So, you know, I'm not going to even try and attempt to do anything right now because I just don't, I've never used the program, but uh, maybe I'll make a video on that in the future. So, anyway, if you like motion and you have recommendations for me on how to use it uh, with 2D animation, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments. And thanks for joining me today. My name is Patrick Davidson, the expat animator, and I'll see you next time.